Hi, this is Haram Park from Korea University. Today I'm going to present L2 first, discovering Bluetooth L2K vulnerabilities using stateful force testing. Bluetooth is wireless communication technology which is adopted by billions of devices, which also means a single vulnerability can attack billions of devices. Bluetooth stack consists of two types of stacks, controller stack and host stack. The controller stack is firmware and it is located in Bluetooth chipset. The host stack is software and it consists of core protocol layers and various Bluetooth profiles. To use Bluetooth application, a logical link control and adaption protocol, namely L2CAP, connection is needed. L2CAP is related to service ports and communication channel, so L2CAP connection is essential for using Bluetooth. Since L2CAP located in the lowest layer in the software stack, L2CAP vulnerability can cause critical attack. With L2CAP vulnerability, the attacker can exploit vulnerabilities which is related to Bluetooth application. To guarantee the root of trust of Bluetooth devices, discovering L2CAP vulnerabilities is needed. There have been several Bluetooth Fuzzing studies to discover vulnerabilities in the L2CAP layer. However, they did not discover the vulnerabilities effectively because they did not test various L2CAP states and generate enough malformed packets. In order to effectively detect the critical L2CAP vulnerabilities, first, we need to increase the L2CAP state coverage because vulnerabilities are highly likely to occur in the state transition process and the functions of each state. We should enter various states and test the functions used for each state. To do that, we need to test as many states as possible. In addition, Bluetooth devices usually reject the packets which are not related to current state, so we need to consider stoppable packets for each state. Second, we need effective mutating. L2 cap packet can have various fields according to the command, which means it does not have unified packet form. Previous Bluetooth folders usually mutate any or all fields and it cause, cause, causes packet rejection by the target devices. Therefore, we need effective mutating to avoid packet rejection and effectively discover the vulnerabilities. Because previous studies did not overcome the challenges they fail to discover critical attacks like blue one. Here is the one of Bluetooth critical vulnerabilities, blue one. Here is the one of blue one attacks which is critical attacks on Bluetooth stack. First, the attacker forms on L2 cap connection using SDP port that does not require pairing. After the L2 cap connection is established, the victim device enters the configuration state. Uh, during the configuration process, the attacker sends normal configuration request packet and a malformed configuration response packet to the victim device. Because these packets are valid in configuration state, the victim device accepts the packet without rejection, which leads to a fatal attack. 
So we propose uh, to FOSS a stateful FOSSer for detecting Bluetooth uh, to get vulnerabilities. Its key techniques are state guiding and core field mutating. State guiding is designed to increase the state coverage, and core field mutating is designed to generate malformed packets that are less likely to be rejected. l 2 fos first scans the target device's information, such as MAC address and service for ports. It scans MAC address to establish l 2 cap get and service ports to test the ports that does not require pairing. The reason why l 2 fos tests the port that does not require pairing is attackers often exploit without pairing. And fuzzing after pairing is meaningless because it is same as getting appropriate privilege. And for reports that require pairing, sending test packet without pairing causes the de device to reject packets. <coughs> Next, l 2 fos starts state guiding. First, it clusters state into job based on each state's event functions and action. Here is an example. Wait connect and wait connect response state have this kind of content. Therefore, the, they are included in the connection job state. And then, it identifies the commands used for each job. Wait connect state accept connection request and reject the others. And wait connect response state accept connection response. Therefore, connection request and response are valid comments for connection job state. The others are not valid comments for the state. Next. It maps the valid commands to each job based on the Bluetooth specification document and various Bluetooth packet choices. We mapped the command with each jobs by clustering states into jobs and mapping valid commands for each job. L2 first can cover most of the L2 cap state in in the security validation of device. Bluetooth devices, while decreasing the test packet rejection rate. Yeah. This renders l 2 fast more likely to detect potential l 2 k vulnerabilities. And with the valid commands, l 2 fast generate normal packet for state transition. Next process, it starts core field mutating. First, it classifies all the L2 cap commands filled into three types F, D, and M. F is fixed field, whose values are fixed. D is dependent field, whose values are determined by other values. M is mutable field, whose values are determined by devices or users. And we further classified M into retable core fields and retable application fields. MC is a set of retable core fields whose value determine the port and channel for Bluetooth network. MA is a set of retable application fields whose value vary depending on comments and convey data to the target. And l 2 fonts applies field classification to Bluetooth l 2 cap. Among them, l 2 fonts mutates only retable core fields like PSM, SCID, DCID, ICID, and CONTID. Now it starts packet mutating. l 2 fonts does not mutate F and D to avoid possible packet rejection. If the target device receives a packet with F or D mutated, 
Erase send or rejection uh, message or uh, reject comment response for comment not understood. Furthermore, Earthforce maintains MA with its default value. This field is optional, so it does not have significant effect on the target device. Additionally, some of the fields can have up to 65,535 bytes of date uh, required a large amount of time to test various cases. Thus, l 2 first leaves these fields as default value. Instead, it only mutates mutate core fields and adds garbage value to generate various smartphone packets. Finally, L2 first detect the L2 gap vulnerabilities with error message, ping test result, and crash down. We implemented L2 first with Python copy in Ubuntu. Ah, we need built stone go to test various target uh, especially we use class 1 dongle and, and we evaluate l 2 with existing bluetooth folders like defendix bluetooth stack measure and b -fuzz. test target devices are as follows we tested the four main general purpose bluetooth stacks with various devices we tested Android Bluetooth, uh, Linux Bluetooth, uh, Apple Bluetooth stack, and Windows Bluetooth stack. We tested eight near world Bluetooth devices. Uh, to evaluate further performance, we evaluate mutation efficiency and state coverage. Mutation efficiency shows Minimum percentage of my phone's packet transmitted without rejection. Uh, to evaluate mutation efficiency, we captured my phone's packet and rejected packet through packet snipping tools like uh, Wireshark. And state coverage shows the number of L2 cap state to be covered. Uh, to evaluate state coverage, we analyze the packet trace of each folder. And the results are like this. L2 first shows the highest performance in mutation efficiency, about 47%. Uh, it is result of co-field mutating and state guiding. Outpost does appropriate state tra transition in the state guiding process and generates valid from the packet in core field mutating process. To evaluate mutation efficiency, we evaluated from the packet ratio and packet rejection ratio. In the case of from the packet ratio, L2 first generates up to 46 times more my prompt packets than other folders. Unlike other folders, L2 first performed mutations mainly on the core field. Uh, in the case of packet rejection ratio, L2 first shows second highest ratio. One important observation is that a lower packet rejection ratio does not always indicate that a folder is efficient. Although Defendex showed the lowest packet rejection ratio, it hardly made malformed packets and did not sufficiently inspect its L2 cap state. So therefore, L2 first showed the highest performance in mutation efficiency. For state coverage, the results are like this. We confirmed that L2 first can cover almost twice as many L2 cap states than existing folders. It covers 13 states. L2 first 
improved the, the accuracy of state transition by mapping only valid coming to its state. Conversely, the state coverage value of the other folders were less like less than that of L2 fuzz because they did not leverage valid comments for each state and were less effective at checking the target response. L2 fuzz found five zero-day vulnerabilities in eight real-world Bluetooth devices. Denier of service vulnerabilities in three Android smartphones like Google Nexus 7, Google Pixel 3, and Samsung Galaxy 7, and crashes in AirPod and laptop. Um, here is a case study of Android vulnerabilities. l 2 detect crashes in Android phone in various states such as configuration job state and creation job state. As you can see on the screen, uh, at the left side of the slide, uh, it shows l 2 log file and it said uh, there was a crash in weights and configuration state. Uh, and the reason why that crashes Triggered is related to timeout error, and when the crash is detected in L2 phones, the target device shows error message on the screen. So, the right side of the screen, you can see the error message. Uh, Bluetooth has stopped. Bluetooth keeps stopping. Unfortunately, Bluetooth share has stopped. After we analyze the vulnerabilities through ADB, uh, Android Debugging Bridge, it was triggered with l 2 fuzz malformed packet. Uh, l 2 fuzz connect the port that does not require pairing and perform state station state transition to specific state with no more packets. For example, it sent normal connection request to enter the weight configuration state and then it sends malformed packets to the target. In this example, it sends malformed configuration request packet with mutated core fields and garbage value. And finally, it triggered denial of service in weight and config state. And the reason why it happened, uh, one of the malformed packets from the L2 FOSC causes no point dereference in the Bluetooth stack in Android smartphone and it causes denial of service. Uh, these questions are like this. It has several limitations and it has several the possibilities. First, uh, it can applicable to other protocols like RFCOM, SDP, and OBX, which are the core proto protocols in Bluetooth. And <coughs> the vendors are encouraged to update L2 cap layer, and there's some limitations like. It cannot test long term because when the crash happens, the Bluetooth service turned down in the, the smartphone. So when the crash happens, you need to restart the Bluetooth service on the Android phone or test target, and you need to restart the L2 phones. And it had to analyze root cause immediately. We need to analyze through like debugging tool, and it cannot evaluate code coverage because of uh, most of Bluetooth stacks are closed to sources, and it cannot cover whole state because um, there is some states like uh, 
smartphone, the target device should connect first to the L2 first. At, at this kind of case, we cannot cover. And all the vulnerable keys that we found through the L2 first are reported to the vendors. In conclusion, we present, we proposed L2 first. A stateful fuzzer for detecting Bluetooth L2 cap vulnerabilities. By state guiding, state guiding and core field mutating, L2 fuzz can effectively detect vulnerabilities. With L2 fuzz, developers can prevent risk in the Bluetooth host state. And thanks, this is end of my presentation. Thanks for your attention. And L2 fuzz source code can be uh, unloaded soon and you can use that source code through this repository and also it will be available through the IHQ before if you have any questions or uh, something like that feel free to contact me thanks